there's really, in my mind, a couple of different levels. So the first level is just uh, preventing interaction between potential pathogens and and the gut. And without getting into you know a list of, of various approaches and, and products, um, if we can if we can prevent pathogens from attaching to the gut wall, um, the pathogens need to be resident in order to cause problems. And so if we can do things to prevent their their attachment, the pathogens, if they're present, will just be washed through the with the the digest the, and, and excreted. Um, if we can, uh, if the the pathogens have established um, a residency in the gut, and we can prevent proliferation, um, that's going to minimize the interaction, the activation of of the local immune response, and and potentially a, a systemic response. So, um, from my the way I view things is the first level is just minimize or prevent as much as possible that unnecessary activation of the immune system. Um, and I say unnecessary because often the, the things that cause an immune response are not necessarily pathogenic. They're just unusual or changes or uh, unexpected by the immune system. 